Well, hello everyone, this is Stevio. We are back on the 70s, back on our 1456 here, chiseling up the field. We are trying to chisel up this stubble right here. This cab is just so small, tiny, tiny little thing. You can see my uh, wife up there smoking away. Yeah, she is uh, running articulating tractor back and forth there, disking up that field. This tractor, it's taking all it can to pull this chisel. Oh, it is rough. So we got big plans today. I've been noticing this local community here. It's been lacking something. And I think what it's lacking, I can key in on. I just don't want to just do farming. I want to get I want to get my hands into multiple businesses. That's how you make sure you can make it through the rough times, hopefully at least, and I can hopefully build my farm quicker than my neighbors cuz the whole goal is to uh, build a monster farm this in the 70s here. Okay, I don't think my neighbor really cares if I turn around on his field. <laughs> That's just a joke. I'm pretty sure he cares a lot. You can see my wife can uh, run pretty quick there with that little disc. We kind of have to find a bigger disc for her because, whoo, look at her smoke that thing away. I'm going to have to tell her to make sure you put in your oil when you fill it up with gas. So we are in the backside of our farm here, our dairy farm. Uh, we're just getting the ground ready early here in the spring. And uh, we are just making sure there's no mosquitoes that might have made it through the winter. We're making sure we smoke them out of the local area too. Man, do I love this tractor. Might not be the highest horsepower on the uh, farm, but, oh, man, will it pull. Let's shut this tractor down. It's getting a little hot anyway, so. Okay, my wife isn't going to like this, but we are going to run. I got a lead on some possible ground we can purchase around this area here. Let's just say I'm highly interested, and I want to possibly put a bid on it before anybody else can uh, sweep it out underneath me. As you can see, uh, we kind of dropped some manure right there. Oh, is that Farmer Jim going down there? Is that his uh, 5020? Pretty sure that might be him. Oh, got another crazy driver coming down the road here. That is weird how that tractor smokes. That is definitely odd. Oh, I guess uh, we got another tractor, a little Balin tractor there. Very nice. I don't know who that is exactly. Oh well. See you later, buddy. The reason why we want this piece of ground so bad is because this is a real estate area. I think it's in an important area. You kind of have to pick your areas very... Holy cow, is this guy all over the place. Okay. Watch out. Watch out for that guy. Oh, you're not supposed to pass on the hillside there. Here we go. Alright. Open area now. Holy cow, are them some wide duels. Whoa, man. See how wide the... Whoa, we're all over the place. So it is right here by the dealership. I think there's going to be a dealership moving in here. Uh, the John Deere dealership. It looks like it might have closed down the last dealer. Or they definitely don't have any equipment around. But this is the piece of ground right here. I know. It's nothing really to look at. But it is at a four-way intersection. The town is just on the other side of the dealer. Uh, we got a lot of uh, communities around this area. So it just kind of brings in. People will drive by this and hopefully say, Hey, I want that. Well, that's the hope anyway. 
All right, it's time for a good old build from scratch. Sit back and relax and enjoy. Don't forget, like the video.
So the whole place is built now. We got it. I wasn't positive how to do it. That building might be a little bit too new, but hey, it's not like they didn't have tin back then. Uh, I kind of put this old gas station in here just to have the old school feel. I've always liked that uh, type of dealer that kind of, you know, goes a little bit retro as it is. I know that's probably a little bit older than the 70s, but man, I really like how this dealership looks. I think it's right on the corner of this uh it's right on the corner of this intersection. We got a big old ramp right here where we could put uh, our nice trucks or nice vehicles and uh, people can stare at them while they go around. Hopefully they can see around the corner still. Mm, yeah, they, sh they should be able to. But now the problem is we got to go on serious buy missions to stock this up with vehicles so we can have some vehicles to sell. All right. So let's go visit some neighbors. Okay, a disclaimer. I have been wheeling and dealing lately, so I kind of already got some deals in progress here. So we are just going to take a trip, try to look at some of these vehicles, because uh, let's, let's just take it. In the 70s, man, it was a little bit harder. You couldn't just go down to your local supplier, order a whole bunch of new trucks or used trucks. So, what do we got here? Oh, wow. Bumpy. Bumpy roads here. Oh, yes. It looks like uh, we got a few uh, nice trucks here. Some lifted trucks. Hmm. They will be nice additions. We'll have to get the trailer loaded. Man, that bump right there really hit me hard. Oh man, still feeling my groin. Alright, we got another place just down the road at the local fertilizer dealer here. So it looks like we got a whole building full of vehicles. Let's see what we got here. Wow, we got a Ford Bronco here. Look at that a V8 in there if you could see it. Hmm. Man, somebody uh, definitely got a little bit overbearing. We might have to clean this up and paint it. Looks like we got a uh, Apache Chevro Chevrolet here. A 31, does that say? A uh, white walls. I kind of like digging the color in the little white stripes there. We got an old truck here. Looks like it might have a flat here in the front. Now look at this Cheyenne. Now that's pretty. That's definitely a quick seller on the lot. Looks like we got a Scottsdale here. Dooley. Another great looking truck. Alright. We are filling up our lot quick here. Alright. Head down the road here. Man, I do love this little Jeep. It's great for just running around, doing odd errands. We got another local farmer. He's got some uh, sale... He's got some trucks and cars, I think, believe, he wants to sell. Alright, what do we got here? I can already see him through the door there. I think uh, we got a Chevrolet Impala, a Chevrolet, and a uh, Bel Air here. Bel Air looks like it needs to go into the paint booth. Uh, we got a C10 here. Old and C10, a baby blue C10, another good looking Cheyenne here. And we got a few of them around. Oh, look at this truck. Now that's a good looking truck there, if I have to say so myself. Hmm, pretty, pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this OBS Ford here, Ranger, F 150. That Bronco's seen better days. You know what? It's gonna be a package deal. I'm gonna buy them all. All the way down the lot. Alright. We're gonna wheel and deal. It's quick nowadays. It's quick. We don't have much time because we need to be in the field. So we got one more farmer just down the road. I just wanna take a second look at his uh, cars and truck. I believe he only has one car bunch of trucks. Farmer Fred out here in the country. 
does have a uh, nice looking farmyard here. Where are we at here? Go around his dairy barn. Oh, I think I see him already. Yep. See him in there. Can't get through that door for whatever reason. Oh, we got a Ford Fairlane here. Is that? Yep, a Fairlane 500. Beautiful looking car. Very well maintained. Oh, uh, look at this. High Boy F-150 here. It even comes with a couple of deer rifles in the back there. This will do. That'll do, folks. That'll do. Got a truck that doesn't... It's got... Looks like a truck that uh, might have had too much fertilizer sprayed on it. How in the heck do you get the truck that chipped up? Whew. Yep. Oh, man. That Bronco's definitely... That Bronco is beautiful. I love the top of the roof lights and everything. Roll bar. Oh, man. I just want to go out and play with it. Let's head down and get our trailer. Start picking all these vehicles up. All right. Let's get at them. All right, so we gotta uh, la unload our last Bronco here. So we got a ton of Broncos. I don't know if it's a good idea to put up all these Broncos that need paint, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe because this community is a little poor, you don't see a lot of nice vehicles driving around, might draw them in to attention like, oh yeah, that's a good looking truck there. And then uh, we could fix it up for them. Maybe, possibly. Uh, we got, a couple old trucks here in the back we're gonna still need we have a huge lot and we don't have enough trucks cars everything to put it on put in it yet to make it feel full I think it's enough to start building start wheeling and dealing and uh, hopefully we can get a find a few more gems out here in the country but uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in Virginia. Later, y'all. Fire this old girl up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's some American muscle there. Later, y'all. Don't forget, like the video. Thank y'all.